Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm yeah, I'm wonderful. Uh, is this Kenton and Kat? Yes. Indeed. Well, thank you so much. You're live in Dallas, Texas on the Valdez <gasps> Movie Show. Thank you so much. I'm home. Wow. <laughs> Well, you guys, you're part of a just a great project with your anti-bullying movie on the Cartoon Network. Would you tell me first, uh, Kat, ladies are always first. Tell always. me about your movie. Well, the movie follows the story of two students in a small town high school where the athletes are revered and the swim team rules the school. Um, Kenton plays Matt, who is the star of the swim team, top of the food chain, but he's also a bully. And his favorite victim is Tommy, played by Danny Flaherty. And the two of them, uh, there's an incident that occurs, and the two of them are forced to work together on a cooking contest for teens. And they form an unlikely friendship through that. Um, I play Sarah, who's a student blogger at the school, and she has some doubts about whether Matt has truly changed his ways, and um, I try to warn Tommy that he needs to watch out for this guy. But my um, character, she's kind of the new girl in town, so she has more of an objective view of the situation and can see through some things that other characters can't. Okay, Kenton, how is it playing the bad guy? Very fun, because um, <laughs> he's he's so opposite of who I, who I am. However, okay. towards the end, we become it, you see a little bit more of me coming out in Matt. Um, okay, tell me, tell me, um, playing in a, a social phenomenon that's going on though, did this impact you? Because this is real. Yeah, um, definitely. Uh, I mean. Everyone has been bullied at least once in their life, I feel. And uh, mm -hmm. for me, I was my height and my food allergies. And uh, for Kat, um, I don't... I was just always different. You know, I was always different than all the other kids. I, I went to, you know, I was an actor, so I wasn't at school all the time. And, you know, I was, I was just always different. And I got bullied for it. And um, I even got my face smashed into a water fountain once at school, and that was no fun. Bullying is such an epidemic in our society, and it's, it's something that really needs to change and something that no one should have to go through. You know, it, it's so common now that people almost prepare kids to be bullied because it happens to almost everyone. Well, why don't we, instead of using that energy to prepare kids, why don't we use those resources to prevent bullying in the first place? As you step out into a world in a movie that talks about what's actually going on, do you think this can be a small part of the message? Just a small part. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. This film is um, mm -hmm. its very unique in its bullying messaging. It presents bullying in a very real and, and almost gritty it, and true-to-life light. Yeah, and it doesn't, it's not like it's shoving the message down your throat. No. It's done in a very artistic and very... Um, a way that you enjoy, and it's yeah. enter and it's entertaining as well. But it starts the conversation, yeah. and the soundtrack does the same thing. It um, does. A, a lot of the actors involved um, are also musicians. Ourselves and included. And so um, we d the soundtrack just came out yesterday um, with Catherine's song "Chatter" and my song "Breaking the Surface," mm -hmm. and uh, they all a, f a few of them have perspectives from the characters That's true. as well as um, but they all they all complement the message that we're trying to put out and. You know, uh, we're just trying to stop bullying and contest is speaking up. Indeed. Well, does, well, let me ask you guys, since you guys are, uh, can, uh, how old are you? I'm 18. If I could ask. You can, and I'm 18. <laughs> and I'm 17. Okay. Does bullying stop, like, at high school? Does it roll into college? Oh, well, yeah, I mean. Does it, it roll in? I mean, Absolutely. Every, people are bullied in the workplace, so it, yeah, it doesn't ever really stop. I'm, I'm sure I, I people will get bullied in nursing homes. Um but I, and, I mean, but the thing is, it's just, it happens with everybody, and I mean... It's very unfortunate. Well, it it, it yeah. either happens, you're either on one end spectrum or the other, obviously. You're either right. bullied or the bullier. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And that makes, that makes it pretty sad for our society. Well, let me ask you this, Catherine. The last time we saw you was in Madison High. Yes, yeah, that was um, <laughs> one of the first projects I did. <laughs> you, your career is continually going on, Thank continually you. going forward. Um, we're going to see you in this movie on the Cartoon Network. Where do you think you're headed next? 
Well, I, um, I just did a pilot for MTV called Happy Land, so we'll see if that gets picked up. And we actually did another film together this summer called Little Savages, which should be out next year. And Quentin, what are you up to? Um, my music is starting to go into full works. I'm spending a little bit more time on that side. Uh, but I did a movie called a Christmas movie called Silver Bells that will be coming out soon. A, uh, I did Little Savages with Catherine here. Um, contest is coming out on October sixth. Cartoon Network. And then um, I just I literally just wrapped um, a movie called Mickey Matson and the Pirates Code um, in Michigan. So I just flew in last night. You guys are so busy. Okay, so we're gonna watch you on the Cartoon Network. Tell us when we're gonna watch a movie. You can see Contest on October 6th, this Sunday, on Cartoon Network at 6 p.m. And 5 p.m. My 5 p.m. Central, because you're in Texas. That's true. We will be my doing that. State. You guys see, it's terrific as you are. You guys say good people, so we can follow you, and, and good things can happen to those young people who follow you. Thank mm -hmm. you so Thank much. You.